Did you, did you know, did you have a demo tape to show them when you were, I mean, when you were 13, you had a demo tape? No, I actually met one of the executives of the company in Colombia who was uh, doing some promotional stuff in my city, my hometown, Barranquilla. <laughs> and, um... Uh, What's going on guys today we are going on a Shakira tour as you guys know I'm in the city of Barranquilla Colombia one of the things Barranquilla Colombia is known for is Shakira for those who don't know this is her birthplace and today we will be going to a couple of landmarks we were planning on going to her house which is kind of close to where I stay but I thought I would start here in front of this statue the city made for her uh, you know this is uh, one of their prize enjoy Shakira I found out about this tour on the city's website they actually have everything listed so if you don't want to follow me just go on the city's website here Biden Kia City's website and they will give you the address on where to go we're actually in front of one of their biggest stadiums here hope you enjoy it let's go find out more about Shakira so guys pretty much this is a park they have here set up where you could just come here and just enjoy your day and admire at the statue in the area of all where they play football and everything so it's a good spot right here also one thing i noticed about this statue is this right here if you don't know what's going on right now currently we are on lockdown so i thought it was kind of cool that they did put a nice little sign over secure's mouth because everybody has to wear a mask even me all right i'm i just take it out for the moment while i'm talking with you guys but you have to wear a mask so when I first heard about Shakira, I remember I was a teenager, I was in Miami, and I heard this particular voice, and I automatically assumed she was from Australia. Then I later found out that no, she's Colombian. Well, she's half Colombian. So here we are, we're actually guys, we're actually in front of her birthplace. This is at the hospital she was born in and then they are remodeling the place to my surprise. Uh, when you look online, it looks like the official place where she was born, the picture how it was taken, but yeah, they are remodeling the place. The place used to have two different mirrors, There's one right here, another on top. In 1977, she was born here at this place. Her mother was Colombian, but her father was not. Her father is Lebanese, both parents are Lebanese, and um, he moved to Colombia at the age of four. And while he was here, he uh, eventually, eventually, because he had a couple of kids, but eventually met Shakira mom, and Shakira was born right here. A lot of people don't know this, but Baraki is, is known for the heavy Lebanese population here. It's a lot of Lebanese Colombians here. And so this is where she was conceived. And yeah, they are remodeling the place. Uh, let me see if I can see if I can ask somebody uh, questions on you know, to make sure this is the place. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to be called Santa Marta. This is the address that you find on the website. Okay. Now, I gotta be careful walking into a hospital. I, I don't, I don't wouldn't walk, wanna walk to the hospital normally, but, and I don't think I could record. All right, guys, so I went inside the security. I didn't record it because I didn't want to, you know, privacy who was in the hospital. But uh, security was there to confirm with me. This is uh, actually the hospital she was born. And, you know, I was asking the guys outside, you know, a lot of people just don't know, you know what I mean? It's not something that people keep up with, but uh, yeah, this is her birthplace, guys. Uh, super interesting. I'm, a, I'm glad they're, they're keeping the place. They could have just broke it down. Uh, they're just remodeling in place, so it's kind of dope. 
All right, guys, now let's go to where she used to live. On this quiet block right here is where Shakira grew up. I don't know for what age she grew up, but she actually was living in this apartment complex. I believe she was staying in uh, that building right there, um, apartment 202, but I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm believing it's it was the second uh, floor she was staying in. So this was one of her places she lived. Now, when you look on the website, this is where they recommend you this this apartment complex. But I'm sure that there were also um, other places she lived. This is now kind of more of your expensive neighborhood. This is the place. I asked the ta taxi driver. He said this place is called Limosito. I'm trying to see if I can find someone I can talk to um, here that can probably give me a tour or know knows a little bit more about this place. Pretty much, this is the area she did grow up in. Um, I don't know how long she was staying here, but the story goes when um, she was living with her, her parents, one day her father brought her around the neighborhood to a local park where there was orphans. Um, I guess, I don't know if they were living in that park or, or what was the situation, but um, when she was young, she remembers that moment. And during that time, she said to herself when she was, if she could make it, that she would look out and so she has done that by doing various donations whatnot but it was that around that particular time also her she when she was young she also had her father bring her to a local lebanese restaurant here in barinkia and that's where her passion of belly dancing really started off because i guess she went to the to the restaurant and when she went to the restaurant uh there were performers there and the music was playing and that's where she really got exposed to that culture of pretty much dancing so it all started off but this is crazy this is the area she uh she grew up where it's real it's real quiet um it's been years people forgotten about this place as people move and leave and come in and go it's just you know people forget but i could talk about this area a little bit this can be a little flood zone area now the, the city has done a lot to change things when it rains but as you can see here is like a little slope going this way and so i can imagine the water goes there and it runs down that way and this one this this area doesn't flood as much but i could tell you probably when she was living here it used to flood a lot these are probably the streets she used to walk down and uh yeah <laughs> this is it uh, Okay, okay. Y cómo cómo vive el, ese lugar? Es bueno el lugar. Sí, sí, claro, seguro. Se, uno seguro el lugar. Seguro, yo sé. Yo trabajo ahí en el taxi, yo sé que es así. Te lo dije yo ahí. Este es el limoncito. Sí, claro. Este es el limoncito, barrio limoncito. Oh, so this place is called Limoncito. He said this place is really a safe look, um, place right here. Eh, Igual cuando ella está aquí, el, el lugar muy seguro sí. o es diferente cuando ella está viviendo aquí? No, seguro. Super Siempre seguro. ha sido seguro. Siempre ha sido seguro. Ok, ok. This place is, uh, this he said has always been um, uh, safe to, uh, to live here. Y tú conoces cómo ella vive aquí, como si ella fue a una escuela aquí, seca aquí, no sé. Okay, they say that she. Okay, so she used to go to a school right here, a, a college right here. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Mucho gente viene aquí? No. No, no mucho gente. 
hay mucha gente que conozca ella vive, antes de vivir aquí. Sí, MTV vino aquí. ¿Ah? MTV. MTV. Vino aquí. Hace, un, hace un documental acá. Oh. Hace un año. Ah, uh, uh, oh, so MTV came over here, did a documentary of where she used to stay. Pero todo el mundo uh, aquí conoce que es, esa era la casa de Shakira. Okay. All right. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Ah, oh, bueno. Gacha, mano. <laughs> Thank you. I get to the taxi driver. He told me that the way the, the apartments are set up are like you, it's more than one apartment. Once you go in, there's other apartments in there. So that's the way things are set up now. So I'm not too sure if she, the family had the whole place, probably had the whole place. I'm assuming they had the whole apartment now because they now consolidate rooms. No, I'm doing this because, uh, you know, we know Shakira is from Barranquilla, but how was her life here? Like, you know, the area she grew up, so, it seems like she did grow up in a very nice area from what I'm understanding. Um, there are some bad neighborhoods in Barranquilla, but there are a lot of good, nice, beautiful areas. And uh, apparently where she lives, Limoncito, a Limoncito uh, is uh, a good area. <laughs> guys so now we're in front of her school this is uh, pretty much her high school she went to um, so you know I got to give you another story it pretty much happened when she was younger I think she was going to uh, like a church school or something like that and she, I don't know if she was practicing for the choir but they told her that her voice was too strong and that uh, she kind of sounded like a goat <laughs> growing up dang Shakira <laughs> you sound like a goat <laughs> But now you're, you are one of the goats from Colombia. All right, for those who don't know, for Latin people don't know, like in America, they use the word goat as an uh, acronym, meaning the greatest of all time. So that is awesome. Well, she is one of the greatest of all time from coming from this city. And I'm glad I can show you where she uh, was living and how she was living. She was kind of living real sheltered to me, to be honest with you, because this is, I think, in the Alto Prado area. And... Um, it's a very good neighborhood, you know what I mean? This neighborhood's real calm. Granted, growing up at a, uh, in the 90s was a little bit different in Colombia. I can tell you that. Growing up in the 90s was a little bit different. But um, yeah, this is where um, she grew up and she walked through those stairs to go to school, all right? Humble beginnings, right here. Came through these stairs right here. Thank you guys for following me on this awesome tour. If you're wondering how I set this up, it was simple. I just talked to a taxi driver and I told him, hey, how much are you charging per hour? And I told him to go to certain areas and he was willing to do it. So if you're trying to do something like that, um, so far it took him around like, like three and a half hours. So he was charging me 25,000 uh, per hour. So that's something cool you might find something online that someone can offer you maybe cheaper but i just went with that way the less complicated and he was really helpful um so yeah try to do that i'm i hope this was enjoyable if you are a shakira fan share this with all your other shakira fans i am a traveler youtuber who's actually in this city currently but i'm planning on traveling other parts and i'm gonna be doing certain certain more videos like this so if you like videos like this subscribe um yeah, thanks, thanks for watching, all right? Uh, we'll leave with another awesome drone footage of the, the school, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Yo.